Every staff in the staging score has a certain number of voice rows to place any dialogue, and also a number of detail rows where you can describe the details of what is happening along the timeline for each character. In a musical or a dance production that aligns with the music, the counts run across the timeline and the lyrics or dialogue line up with those counts in the voice row. The detail row allows you to describe the movement or dance that occurs for each group or character exactly as it aligns with the counts. Of course, these features are all customizable for your needs. You can easily add a new customized template by going to the Score Template tab on the Settings page. By hitting the Add button, you can enter the name you want for the new template and update the settings. In this example of a dialogue template where there is no music, the number of counts are set as one, meaning there will be just one big column without any counts listed across the timeline. You'll also want to turn off the ability to add another count, and then, by selecting 32 divisions within the one count, you'll provide a number of options where you can insert the actions or blocking along the timeline as they correspond with the dialogue. You can adjust the number of voice rows if you wish, and also edit the number of detail rows. In this example, we'll adjust it just to just two rows for each character and label one row action and the second row direction. When you hit save and add it to a scene, you can see how the new template looks. Here showing the one voice row and the two rows of detail as required. Now this example shows how to customize a new eight count staff. Here you name the template, give it the default number of counts, in this case eight, and decide how many divisions of each count you want. In this case, four divisions, one E and a two E and a for each count. Next, you'll decide where you want the index number of the count or downbeat to show. Most often it would be in the first column, but it can also be placed in the second column if you wish, or the third, or the fourth. In this example, we'll leave it in the first column, and then I can type what I want to appear in the other columns. Here, I'll put E in the second, and in the third, and A uh in the fourth. Next, you can change the number of voice rows, if you wish, and the number of detail rows as well. Here, I'll change it to only two rows, and I'll change the labels to arms and feet, and hit Save. And here, you can see the new template shows those settings saved. One voice row, two detail rows, arms and feet for each character. And you can see along the timeline the counts have been added. Another example of a triplet template can be shown. Like the other examples, you give it a name, choose the number of counts, eight in this case. But in this example, I'm going to change the division to three for each count so it reads as a triplet. I'll place the index number in the first column and we'll type two in the second one and three in the third. I can adjust the number of voices, and here I'll add a fourth detail row and label it step, feet, arms, and direction. Once you're happy, hit save, and you can see here how this template looks. One, two, three, two, two, three, three, two, three, four, two, three, five, two, three, six, two, three, and you're on your way. Mm -hmm.